Farm Manager 2018 is what happens if you were to take Banished and give it a farming skin, but with tons and tons of layers of things you could do underneath the hood, as well as the typical stuff you'd expect from a game that would be very similar to Banished, not just in look, but also just kind of in function and the way you lay things out and the way people move around and everything. But this game adds so many different layers in terms of business and actually the hiring and firing and, uh, and and inseminating your cows and all kinds of crazy stuff. There's so many layers, it's almost too much. It's almost too much. Now, before you go further, I'm gonna let you guys know, I did get this key for free through my inbox. I don't know these guys, Playway. Uh, I don't know them like personally, but they did send me a key. So I was probably on some kind of list. And so here we are. So take everything I said with a grain of salt, but I wouldn't be, but none of you should be surprised given how much time I spent in, in Banished itself that I am playing a game like this. But I will warn you, it is not the most exciting game to watch, especially if you go and play through winter. If we hit winter uh, at all during this game, this playthrough, which I seriously doubt we will, uh, we'll probably end up skipping that <laughs> and uh, or just basically ending it right there because winter is when nothing grows. And the only thing you really have uh, is to basically manage the uh, uh, your, your your livestock, essentially. And which really, really pairs down the work that you're going to be doing, right? Because typically you're going to be doing you know, a little bit of livestock work, a little bit of ranching, whatever. And you're also going to do a lot of farming as well. It is farm manager. But during the winter, it does cut out. And it is about 20 minutes or so, uh, maybe more uh, of just pure winter. So be warned, if we hit winter, we'll probably load another game and keep going from there or load another save and continue forward from there. God damn, this thing is still fucking going. Restoring world order. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess he could take his time if he wants. I understand that. Here we go. So this farm is doomed. <laughs> this farm is completely done. Uh, let's take a look around the screen here, shall we? Start upper left corner. We have money. That's how much money I have. Negative 26,814 whatevers. Uh, I have four staff and up here I can also go through if one like maybe monitor how much manure I have or how much silage I have or how much anti-weed I have. I can put all this stuff up there. It's completely customizable, which is pretty great. Right click, get rid of it. Oh, up right corner, we have the speed management. Uh, this is typical, typical of this sort of game. Uh, the right hand side, these are your goals. So basically it wants me to buy one farmer, one farm owner's large house. So right now I have a farm owner's small house. Uh, that was a brief glimpse into how many different, how many different layers are to this thing. It's, I swear to God, it's, it's kind of like Eve. And like you get in, it's like, oh, look at all these things you have to you have to go through and train. And then it's like you go over here, you buy land. Well, you can't see the buy land part yet. Your account history shows every single thing you've ever done. Debt repayment, which it would if you got a loan. You'd be able to see this thing. Uh, your reports, your overview, warehouses. <laughs> there's actually there's a whole trade thing. I mean, it's like, and that's this is just one one window, by the way. You still have your actual markets uh, over here over here uh, we actually would go through and buy and sell and have a stock market here where the prices are going up and down and all kinds of crazy stuff like it's pretty insane you can go auto trade let's say maybe you have a bunch of apples and you have too much shit going on you want to go ahead and manage everything automatically click on this and you go through and select apples if you want to which is all the way down here somewhere i lost it i don't know it's it's wait did i pass it i think i passed it i don't know anyway so yeah this there's just a lot of things that you can have it they have the game help you with uh, and at the same time there's a lot of things that you can manage and that's this is just like only a handful of things uh, over here we can actually go through and sit and click on one of our people here uh, let's go to the house this is the house right here uh, Guy Kramer we can, we can see what his skills are Guy Kramer is quite strong it'll tell you I think if you hover over here well that's basically his endurance his stamina uh, you can relocate him to another building but I don't have another building so it should probably should tell me that I don't have another building it does not. Interesting. Uh, I must have clicked the wrong. Oh, maybe it's because he's already in the building. Oh, oh, I wanted to get in there and see him. Let's get in. Look at how close you could get. Yo, like if this is... <laughs> I believe, I, and it's been a while since I played it, but I believe this is closer than you can get with... Uh, the, the, closer than Banished. In Banished, you can get pretty close to get up in people's business and watch them walk around and everything like that, right? But I'm pretty sure this is a close up. This is almost straight third person perspective. OK, actually, is, am I zooming in? Or am I just rolling forward? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but yeah, you do have the ability to uh, Q and E roll, roll the, uh, uh, the camera around. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. Uh, and that's, you know, that's the usual stuff. If you click on each one of these farms here, uh, each one of these plots of land, this one you have, this is a field of grass. So this would be a good example here. you can see that it's only partially built. And the reason why is because I actually uh, They've taken too long. I had people do it by hand and it took way too long. Um, 
I can, however, go through and harvest if I wanted to. And if I want, I can go through and choose a person. So I say Charlie or Carly, sorry. Uh, I can have her go and uh, and harvest this whole thing by herself. And she will. If I tell her to go, watch, just watch. Let's see what's on three. The fastest speed possible. There she goes. Go, Carly. Get him. Hold on a sec. We actually follow around. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And then I think it's this. And let's uh, see. This pins that up. Oh, that's the trailer. What am I doing? I'm not going to follow the trailer. But boom. There we go. Now we can go ahead and move this thing over. We could pin this thing up here. We could click on this and take us to where she's located. We click on this and we can follow her around. We can see what she's doing. <laughs> Wait, I think I am in first person. Let me just zoom out here. <laughs> oh man, it's just, it's, yeah, this is, wow, this is straight up first person. Well, look at this, we're on the farm. Not enough resources, grass for bookings. Yeah, this, basically, this farm is a complete loss because I overspent. Uh, and the game is not, it's not quite like, uh, like Banish. And I'm going to come compare it to Banish a lot. And I'm pretty sure you guys will understand uh, why. It's not quite like Banish, whereas, you know, when famine hits, you wipe out half the village, and if production and all this stuff does not get uh, ta you know, tailored to a smaller population, you could potentially risk losing more. Uh, you end, you lose when you basically, when everybody dies or you lose so much, there's no way for you to recover. Uh, in this case, that part is true, but your people don't die. Uh, your your livestock dies. You, I mean, I had all of my cows die over the winter because I didn't know how to warm them up, and I also didn't care because I left the thing running in the background while I went and did other things because that's how long it takes to get through winter. But still, <laughs> oh, now we're going home. Okay, cool. Can we actually go inside? Aww, well, there she is. All right, well, that was fun. She's resting. You can see her stamina going back up. Not enough for bookings. Grass for bookings. Uh, contract failed. Deadline extended. All right, so let's go and get back here. So she went through, she did some work. She didn't get a whole lot done, but she got a little bit. She got, she got enough, right? So I'm going to interrupt her work, which, by the way, let's say if I wanted to go through and take one of my machines out there, I actually have to interrupt her work first and then go do it instead of just saying, hey, you know what? Why don't I have a machine go out there and help her? They don't do that. You have humans out there helping with their hands on top of uh, having a machine going through and plowing everything. It just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So we interrupt this. Boom. Which I think is fine because that would, I guess that wouldn't be safe, right? To have like people out there when these giant machines are running, right? It's kind of like that one Superman where the kid was like following the machine was coming and Superman came, you know, blah, blah. all right. So let's go ahead and now wait a moment. Hit space, but we'll wait a moment here and all these buttons should reset. After, I think, I think she has to come back out to the field and then it'll uh, reset. We'll see. Oh, here it's back. Here it is back. All right, cool. So harvest machines. Uh, we could choose a machine we want, let's say the uh, tractor here, and then we could choose somebody, we could send somebody with some tractoring skills. Mm, Hannah. And then we want to bring the mower out, then we say accept, and then we can see her go, she'll go grab the machine out of the garage, which by the way, you could assign all these things. I click on this right here, and I can sit here and say, let's take this and, and repark it over here or to wherever else. And you actually build the plots of land in order to put those things there too, right? You actually, uh, uh, like build a parking lot here. Here she is, she's going, she's going ham on this. There's no way I'm gonna make the money back on all any of this stuff, by the way. Like, I'm gonna sell all this, and it's just not gonna matter. I'm going further and further in debt. By the way, this stuff doesn't sell for anything anyway, so it doesn't necessarily matter. So she's gonna go around. She's gonna go and get grass out of... Wow, well, that's an interesting... <laughs> that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, I wonder if I get more grass out of this deal. <laughs> so we wait a moment here. This will refresh. I think maybe after she parks that thing? There she goes, and she's gonna park it. Boop, that's in, and then a couple seconds, bam. Now we gotta bail this hay. We could have people go out there and do it by hand, or we could go get some machines together, go autofill, have them get out there and do that. Now again, this is something that I, I feel like on a real farm you could do. You could have somebody go out with one machine and follow up with another, depending on what it is, right? Sometimes you have to, you know, you'll have to cut things and let it dry out in the open, perhaps. Uh, and other things you could you should be able to just go right behind it with another machine, but it doesn't do that here. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that I know absolutely nothing about farming. I did spend some time on the farm on a ranch uh, when I was younger uh, with my Uncle David out in Indiana. Uh, but I didn't necessarily do much other than, you know, basic stuff. You know, go out there, take care of the horses and, uh, and, and you know, feed them. Um, uh, mow, get out of the tractor and like mow, like basically what she just did, do some of that. Follow the track, follow behind the tractor and actually pick up or the uh, bale maker and pick up the bales and load them up onto a flatbed. I did a whole lot of that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, just a bunch of like basic stuff. Still don't know anything about farming whatsoever. So if you know something about farming, you're probably a wizard this. I have no idea. Or or if you have a business degree, you'll probably be a wizard this because then you can get through here and you can go and figure out what the fuck I did wrong after you do my budget and figure out where I'm spending all my money. 
Honestly, though, I didn't actually go through and go and actually check out, uh, uh, like really follow what it was that I did wrong. Notice that, by the way, I don't have the right machine. I don't have the right uh, tra uh, 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 trailer to call with this, to, to pull with this. I have to get a self-loading trailer in order to do that. No flatbed. I mean, you know, like I said, back in my day, we had a flatbed. That's the only farm reference back in my day thing I could throw at this thing, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to throw the people out there. Throw the people out there, let them work. So he made these garbage is fine. Let them go out there and work. Over here, this is a uh, milk processing planet. Plant. Planet. Uh, it's basically processing milk because I used to have cows out over here and now I don't have any. I sold them. I, I, I lost a bunch and then I ended up selling the rest because I was, I mean, you know, it was winter and they were going to die anyways. And, and they were on the verge of death and I still made $2,080 from each one. That was kind of nice. Uh, let's see. So yeah, they're gonna go do some work. Unfortunately, they're not. It's gonna take them forever, I think, to get all this stuff done. Let's actually watch it for just a brief moment here. Soundtrack-wise, not enough grass. Wait, resources grass for bookings. I think it has something to do with the auto sell that I have. We'll go to sell, and we'll go to grass. There's grass seed. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's go to uh, auto auto trade. Butter, buckwheat, da 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 corn. There's no way to basically like, select all wheat. Okay. What am I looking at here? Just straight straight grass. Huh. I know my silage is full. Yeah, that's full because I don't have any anything to <laughs> Oh man, hold on. Maybe I could Ah, eh, whatever, let them let them work. See how long it takes. Now, if I wanted to go through and actually start over, I would actually go through and say, do you want to destroy, uh, destroy this? Yes, because we have to. Uh, then we choose a machine, and then we get a person. I don't have anybody currently available because everybody's working any other job, which, by the way, this is something that Banish does a little bit better in terms of organizing uh, and, and I think like macromanaging uh, individual players or uh, NPCs is I could go through and I think click on somebody and assign them somewhere else or click over here and select the person's name on a drop down or whatever it was. It's been a while uh, in this in this game. I actually have to go through and click on interrupt work in order to take somebody off off the job. See, there's no way to take them off the job. You can I can upgrade them while they're working if I had the money, but I don't. By the way, the music is, uh, you think you pretty much heard it all. There's only a couple tracks. Lower it a little bit here. So you could hear this thing running non-stop. Just non-stop machinery. But there's nothing on there because we don't have any cows. No cows, no milk, no milk, no milk processing. As a matter of fact, can I turn this thing off to save power? I don't think so. I could release this employee though, get it out of here. Yeah, clear. Bam, there we go. I don't know what she was making, but she was doing something that might have been important, but eh, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn all of this off. There we go. No, uh, let's see. Go cheese, whatever. Yeah. They are making stuff, but I'd rather have the extra body doing other things. Now, let's see. Uh, you do have the ability to go through. I mean, I'm negative 33,000. This, this entire, this entire episode of Any for Breakfast, which, by the way, I know we haven't had any in a while, and I, I totally blame myself for that. Creative, creative differences with myself have, uh, uh, had, had reached a peak, and I decided, fuck it, let's just go back and do it the way we used to, because I'm letting all these awesome games slip by, and this game was one of them. By the way, again, intensely boring to watch, but, uh, still a good thing to, it's still a nice thing to have playing in the background. Like, oh, that's really what I did. Like, pretty much for several hours yesterday, I had this thing just basically playing in the background uh, in another window while I, another monitor while I basically sat there and worked and did other things, which is kind of nice. I was able to work on things and have this thing pop every once in a while and say, hey, yo, pay attention to me, which, by the way, does have a lot of that. It has a couple of things that pop up. It'll say, uh, oh, yeah, there's a parcel that we we need to deliver to so-and-so. Hold on, I just freed that person. I didn't put him to work. Let me go do this thing. You sure you want to destroy this? Yes, I do. Hey, look at that. Denise. Uh, Denise, get on it. What, are, what is this? Uh, skill of manufacturing. Okay, well, that's not really a worry for me. Just boop, there we go. By the way, once that tractor breaks, we're done. That's like super done right there. We can't afford to get a new one. Uh, but yeah, every once in a while, Papa will say, oh, oh couldn't find so-and-so to deliver a parcel. You have to deliver for for them, and you have a certain amount of time in order to react to it. But it's kind of a nice, even though it does nothing but give you like a couple hundred bucks, which is pretty much like ultimately useless uh, and basically nothing uh, in this game, you do, it does give you an opportunity to go back and check to make sure that shit's not getting out of hand. I also notice that sometimes it does pause if if you're not, if it's not the focus window after a certain amount of time. Now, I don't know if that is necessarily the game pausing basically because it knows it's not the focus. It doesn't want to get things, things to get out of hand or if it actually recognizes the space bar while the game is not in focus. Let's try that right now, shall we? Let me go ahead and come over here and let's see. Uh, let's just click over on another window and hit space bar. Nope. 
I made space bar. And it's still running. So yeah, it must have some kind of like a kill switch, like a dead man switch or something like that to prevent things from getting out of hand. All right, so here we go. That thing's already done. Let's go ahead and go here and go autofill, get her out there to now cultivate. And she'll do that while these guys are still cleaning things up. Still going. I mean, they're doing pretty good. They're getting the work done. But look at the machines, man. I mean, this, this is, this is <laughs> infinitely more uh, valuable in terms of like efficiency. But also quite costly. I mean, the repairs, I have no idea how much repairs are going to cost on this thing. I'm kind of afraid to click on it. So it's going to go back over here. She's going to turn that thing in. This is going to change. It's going to come up and say, hey, you want to plant some seeds? You want to fertilize? It's going to fertilize. I have tons of dookie. Let's go and put that on there. Boom. Go with this, go autofill. Oh, I don't have a manure spreader. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So we got to use people. Look at all these people. Bam, go. Weather low. Too, too, too low temperature. For which? For that. That's fine. Oh, yeah, because we're going into fall. Well, the good news is I go through and fertilize this uh, and get everything prepped for the next season. But unfortunately, that's all I could do. Hmm. I go get the rest of that straw up. Or that uh, buckwheat. Well, let's let, them guys, let these guys do their thing. They're going to walk around and just spread the poop by hand. Oh, man. Farming life. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Maybe maybe not for me. <laughs> all right, let them finish up. They're not going to finish up for the actually have to go all in and rest. So unfortunately, we'll have to wait for them to do that. Uh, let's go to market here and see if anything I could sell. What is up with the grass? It's kind of interesting. I have a see 300. I could get 800 bucks from that. I could get 3,900 and something from that. Oh, man, not a whole lot of stuff. Man, what is up with the straw? I'm a little, or the, the grass, oh, the grass is all going to the side, the side is packed now, it should be packed. There's an employee there doing work. Oh, Dorsey, boy, you are old. By the way, nobody gets old and dies in this game, which is super unfortunate, I kind of like that aspect of, uh, of Banished, but at the same time, that'd be really weird here, because, uh, in Banished, it was, it was supposed to take place in a period of time where a hundred years could go by and very little in technological advancements would occur, but on a farm with already existing advanced uh, technology, you don't necessarily see five or six generations go by and you're still using the same equipment. It just doesn't work that way. And so old Dorsey is going to be old for the rest of uh, his life, I guess. Sure. Yeah. All right. So you do your stuff for Dorsey. Dorsey. But these cars, I don't think they do any. Oh, it was delivery. What is this? Who's this guy? Where's he going? Oh, he's going to pick something up, I guess. Oh, it must have been like an auto trade or something like that that was in, was in place. Manure. Lots of manure. Everything has a cost per month. You could see right here. 300 per month. 500 per month. I could also destroy things I wanted to. I'm never going to use that thing again. So I can actually go through. Boom. Bam. By the way, no confirmation whatsoever to let me know that. <laughs> Are you sure you want to delete that? It just deletes it. The only time it will warn you is if you were to click on like a house where people live. And it'll say you can't demolish the staff building with employees inside. Please release or remove them or move them. Yeah, you can't do that, unfortunately. If I just boop, get rid of that. Uh, contract failed, deadline exceeded. Boom, get rid of this. Uh, you don't get any money back, by the way. <laughs> it straight demolishes it. There's no selling it back to the market or anything. You just destroy it. There's no getting resources back. It's just gone. They can knock down trees, though. Boop, 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 boop. Can I knock this car? Come here, come here, come here. Now, oh, damn, sucks. Bam, bam. I can take out the road, can I? Yep, sure can. Yeah, you could pave roads, all kinds of stuff, but that's not going to do anything but just hurt us in the long run, so I'm not going to do that. Not that it matters, because after this save, I'm pretty much done anyways, I think. In this save, anyways. Might give it might give it another go later on, for, you know, just try something else out later on, but I think for the most part, um, this save is fucked. <laughs> it is just finished. Uh, let's see, I could sell some of this stuff back, though. Let's see, straw bales, what is uh, Reaper? Oh, you know that Reaper for cereals, 9 mil, uh, that's, this is actually something that um, I don't need. Let me go and sell this. It's too big for my use. Oh, wow. 3,500? Jesus. I mean, sure. Why not? Let's sell. Let's get rid of it. So, oh, wow. It just disappears. This is, That's actually the first thing I've seen it just appear. Because anytime I order something from the market, it actually has to get delivered. Or if I order, like, for example, one of the machines, they will actually drive it up and drop it off. And so you have to actually wait for it. You can't just buy something from the market and it instantly appears and you go through and just use it. You actually have to wait for it to be delivered, which is kind of nice. It's kind of an interesting thing. So seeing it disappear like that was it's actually really strange. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this thing's dying because of some water, but I mean, who cares? It doesn't matter because going into winter here in the next... Notice how long this season has taken so far, right? 
I mean, we're 20 something minutes into this, uh, into visiting for breakfast here, and you notice, um, let's see, create a one, two, four, did I get a reward of? Unfortunately, that costs money though. I'm just gonna make a plot of land, let's see. Yeah, 500 bucks. <laughs> it wants to make a point two what? Yeah, point two, uh, somewhere around there. So I basically would make it, get my money back. Well, I can't afford to make it, so it doesn't matter. If 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 it would allow me to uh, get a loan, uh, which if you play this game already, which I, actually none of you have, uh, there is actually a way to get a loan, but I do not have it unlocked. So to have access to loans, you have to complete practical training and negotiation, no, negotiation skills and training in baking one, which if I go over and click on the house, I'm bet I'm willing to bet that's in here somewhere. Let's see, uh, practical training negotiation skills. There it is, and it costs sixty five hundred bucks. Uh, well, again, this is this is where we're at right now. I can't apply for a loan because I'm already in debt. <laughs> this is a catch twenty two right here, isn't it? Uh, but I've already I've already ruined three saves by doing this by going through and overspending and mismanaging money because a lot of because I was just kind of test things out build things see what's going on buy upgrade somebody's stats all the way to max and see what happens uh, do all this stuff all this stuff does make a difference by the way uh, you do when you spend money you do feel like you're getting something in return whether it be a cow or a couple of chickens or uh, you know, having a staff member that can stay out of the field for longer uh, than you know a handful of seconds so all, all everything does seem to have impact, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, that's done here. We guys should go through and we can plant seeds, but since the season's coming coming to an end, we don't want to because it will actually take several days. In some cases, it could take up to 70 days for something to actually grow to the point where you can harvest it. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and so yeah, we'd basically go, you know, plowing. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, let's see, we guys should go through. And uh, we could basically prep more. That's pretty much all we could do right now at this point, just basically prep more fields, get them ready for uh, let's see, you don't destroy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I don't have, I only have, unfortunately I have one tool to do this. We have to basically wait for her to get done and then, uh, then have her jump over here and do this. And while she does that, we can have somebody strip out another tractor and come behind her and take care of this, uh, this field to cultivate and get it ready for the next season. But for the most part, this is, uh, this is done. This is pretty much complete. Now it does have a, let's go save and let's go to quit. Oh, no, no, no. Exit menu. Now it does have uh, a couple of campaign modes, right? Or scenarios. So it has a campaign, uh, which is basically just, just you know, it gives you kind of pointers, almost like a, a super long tutorial of sorts, right? And it has little missions that pop up every once in a while. Uh, and then you have scenario mode, which basically just has all these different scenarios, basically. <laughs> That's what that word is. Uh, and you could go through and uh, the one I did, the one I was doing there, pardon me, keep on beating out the microphone here. It's been a while since I recorded one of these, so you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I did for this one was, I think, on the horizon. Uh, and I totally ruined it. Uh, all is not lost. The farm that you inherited with, from your uncle is on the verge of bankruptcy. So save it. So these are good. I get maybe training tools, right? To go through and do stuff. There's also free mode. I can go through and just say, yeah, my farm difficulty and make it uh, easy. How much cash do I have? Let's make two million and uh, terrain see whatever, whatever, whatever. There we go. So we get in here and we can uh, yeah, buying land and I'll do all this stuff that we could get in. We could just start clicking around and start building things and see what kind of stuff we have. And we'll do that for a second here before we get out of here so you can see what everything looks like. Maybe pay a couple roads, maybe hire a whole bunch of people. They just basically get a big ass bustling farm that makes absolutely zero economic sense whatsoever, but just for fun, you know? Just kind of see what goes on. Planting seeds, building houses, feeding animals, something from the sky. I don't know what that said. All right, offer for the ministry, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm rich. I'm rich. I don't care. I'm rich. Two million. Two million? All right. So, wow, it starts to be absolutely nothing, which is kind of cool. So go to, let's see, where are we at? I don't need a house. <laughs> let's see, let's go over here. Which, by the way, I didn't even show you guys this stuff yet. Let's see, uh, build this guy here. Let's get rid of this machine market. No, 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 no. All right, so let's go ahead and go house. And we'll go small garage, meaning brick garage, carport. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, people, people, people. Bam, here we go. All right. Well, let's put this guy, like, right over here. Nah, right on the street. Eh, close to the street. Oh, it has to be actually on a road. So yeah, we'll put him right. We can rotate it. I can plant it, I can plant it, or plant, plant. Yeah, you know, put them down. And then I'll start building there. Uh, we actually go through and pave some roads, because of paved roads, actually. So, paved road. Then we'll just go... Mm, whoop. Da -da 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 -da. And then we'll just draw this right across. There we go. Now let's get close. So yeah, notice how everything has to show up before it starts building. You see, again, things don't just build. It's not like StarCraft, you can just... Put something up. Well, actually, no. Sorry, I was a terrible example of that because that's exactly what happens. Sorry, I have to wait for the workers. Um, no, no, no. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's something that you actually have to wait for uh, resources to uh, to come and 
and put down let's see, a warehouse of cooling sure why not i can afford that i'm rich let's go and put that right over here no let's see boom right there there we go and let's see what else should we build what else should we build uh, what is this? Small slaughterhouse. Yeesh. <laughs> Damn. Milk processing plant. We know those are loud. We don't want any of those. A mill. A uh, small juice factory. A frozen food factory. There's so much stuff you could do. So many crazy things you could build. Uh, manure storage. Well, let's do this. Let's build a small house here. Seasonal employees. Permanent employees. Yeah, there we go. So this is the banished part, right? Where you go through and build all your little houses. And then you got to make sure they have... Uh, uh, let's see... Make sure there's like a, a, a water nearby so that way when they set the place, they inevitably set the place on fire and they could go and get water and bring it over. A uh, small pigsty, a small shed, a uh, chicken coop. Chicken coops are easy. We basically place one of these and then we'll buy a bunch of chickens and that's it. We're done. Super easy. A silo. Oops, that's not sorry. That's what we want to build. No hotkeys, by the way, for any of this stuff, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, I have no idea how they'd make that work. There's so many different things to do here. Like, it's like so many different, like, like, something like first you have to click on a thing and then you have to click on one of this and then you got to click on the thing you want. Like, it, there's a lot of things here to, uh, to, to, to build. So here you go. This is the, the area of influence of the, uh, of the well. It, that just pops up, by the way. There's no, like, well delivery service that comes and just drops it off. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then we just basically go buy a bunch of whatever. We got chickens, right? Let's do this. We'll go, uh, we need to hire people. Let's go hire people. And we'll just do 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 do. That's all we could get. Perfect. Permanent. Here they come. And we'll just auto fill that with that dude. We'll go to animals. We'll go buy 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 buy. We'll just get like some just a ton. There we go. Wow, I've already spent three hundred thousand dollars. Probably some of it on this actually. The warehouse with cooling seems kind of expensive. I think. Uh, let's say we go to warehouse, uh, market. Let's go to buy and let's buy. Uh, what, a feed? Chicken feed? No, it's fertilizer. Okay, what do chickens eat? <laughs> oh, grass? I don't know. Shit, grass? Sure, why not? Let's go and grab like buy a ton of this. Uh, oh, I guess I can't. Oh, grass seed, but I can't buy grass. You don't have appropriate warehouse building or enough space. Oh, well, shit. I guess this is the cow, huh? Man, I bought the best, the best damn thing I could possibly make. Fine. All right, let's just go production. Uh, let's see. Si silage? No, that's silage. Oh, it's silo. It's a silo. Uh, here it is, silo. Bam. Okay, we'll put this right here. Now there's like 30 pissed off chickens over here. Whatever. You bet with your neighbor. You could build something or have a, I don't know, like, I don't know. there's all these random things pop up. Can you do something better than your neighbor? Then you could get $3,900 and that's pretty much it. So, all right. So that's going to come sometime. And then, then we could buy the stuff from the market. And remember, we can't buy the stuff from the market until, uh, let me see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, well, we're not going to have it delivered until it's, uh, Oh, no. No, oh, you don't have proper. Okay, build. Which one is one? Oh, wants to. Ah, I'm so dumb. Sorry. <gasps> sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, wow, these chickens are never going to get fed. They're going to be rip. Here it goes. Let's see. How's their health? Oh, their health is not doing so well. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a race. Do, do, do. I mean, I have 30 people just chilling here, not doing anything, by the way. Or not 38. Well, seven, because one guy's out there doing work. Just one guy, though. Go, 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 go. Buy this stuff from the market. You can leave the market open, actually, if you wanted to. You can't scale the, the, the UI, though, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird. You can't take that UI and scale. Yeah. I had to go check, because what if I said that and I was wrong for some reason? Which, that doesn't happen ever. It would happen more often if I made more videos, though, right? Wouldn't it? Oh, dang, it burned me. All right, let's see. Uh, Grass. And let's see, you don't have the appropriate building, but I will in just a second. Let's see what happens. Will it automatically update and give me access to the button? No. Click on it again. There it is. All right. Let's just buy uh, a lot. All of them. Sure. Buy. There we go. Should be the biggest ass truckload of this stuff. Don't tell me that's it. Okay. <laughs> it's coming. To, my, my, my one million tons of grass is coming in an Uber. Uber Black. <laughs> Not even Uber XL. Uh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll take that. Sure, 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 sure. Boom, done. And then we'll see the guy should run over there to the grass uh, or to the uh, uh, yeah, he's gonna grab some food from there. Boom, and then well, we might be able to follow him here. Does he actually have any of his hand? Hell no, he doesn't. He's just gonna walk back and suddenly they're gonna be fed. Oh, wait, no, that's the caretaker. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ollie Ray. There he is. Let's go ahead and raise that up. Bam, the plant master for no reason, really, whatsoever. All right, oh, wait, is he what is he doing? What is he doing? Is he petting them? 
Let me watch what he's doing. Ah, he's feeding them. Okay, he walks up to each one, huh? Well, damn, look at that. Go, Ollie. Oh, now he's going to sleep. Well, rip. <laughs> rip any chicken, chickens I haven't eaten yet. Nah, they'll be fine. All right, so that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> that's pretty much the gist of, whoops, all the way in. Farm Manager 2018. Uh, here's what I'll say about the game. Just in closing, uh, it does... It does feel like a, it feels solid. It feels good. I've not run into any situations where I necessarily felt like, okay, that's completely unfair. That's completely ridiculous. Everything has pretty much made sense. Every time I've made, every time I failed to save, uh, it's been because of my own uh, uh, mismanagement of the farm itself. Uh, I, again, if you're uh, if you have a business degree, you might do pretty well. Uh, if you're if you're a farmer, you should ex do exceedingly well. Uh, but overall, it does feel like like Banish. If you like Banish uh, and you like farming, uh, then guess what? Boom! This is the perfect game for you. Uh, lots of detail, lots and lots of layers. The more you dig, the more you find. There's so many different things you could do. It's pretty insane and really, really well done. Zero crashes, zero crazy skips. The game just plays. Uh, and as much stuff as I've been able to stack into a single save, it has not uh, started stuttering on me uh, yet. Now, the game is currently being released on Steam on the 6th. Uh, I do not know what the price of the game is going to be, unfortunately. I don't know what the, the price of the game is going to be. All I know is that the game is going to be released uh, uh, here in a couple days. Well, in a day, actually, from this particular recording. Uh, and... You'll have to go and check out the price for yourself. I'm actually waiting for these chickens to all get fed. Damn, Ollie, get over there and fucking feed them all, man. Jesus Christ. What is taking so long? They're all going to die. <laughs> so that's it, guys. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. This is Indy for Breakfast. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry that's my creative block uh, in how I wanted to, the different ways, things I wanted to do with the show and what I wanted to kind of turn it into got in the way until I realized, you know what? There really is nothing wrong with the old show. I should continue doing it and perhaps I'll have an epiphany or something. I'll be struck by lightning and then I'll be like, that's it. That's what I need to do. And then I'll try something again. But I'll make sure that this show continues to go until I just until I actually have something solid to fall back on. Having it fail, having it not show up for the past couple months is blasphemous. I should not have done that. And I apologize deeply, uh, especially to all of my patrons who have been supporting me these past couple months while I've been floundering about trying to figure out what the fuck to do with this show. So that's it. Thank you so much for your continued support and also for hanging out here on YouTube. Uh, fucking smash the bell, I guess. My name is Mike B. Thank you for breakfast. Farm Manager 2018. Thanks. I'll see you guys later.